The crime of domestic violence destroys families, it devastates children, it results in victimization, physical and emotional inju injury, and all too often death. Today, too many families in Florida are affected daily by domestic violence and related crimes. In way too many situations, the home is no longer a safe place, it's an environment of abuse and fear. This operation, Operation Safe Families, set out to target two classes of fugitives. First, those who had outstanding warrants for domestic violence related crimes. And second, those who had what are called writs of bodily attachment for non-payment of child support, or commonly referred to as deadbeat dads. Across the state, 33 sheriff's offices joined the effort. The month-long initiative, which ran from October 13th through November 9th, resulted in over 5,500 arrests. We know that domestic violence impacts the lives of counselors, families, and innocent children. And besides the immediate pain and emotional trauma often caused by domestic violence, I'm greatly concerned because it's a cycle of behavior that's passed from generation to generation. The domestic violence we report today will impact the growth and development of our next generation, our children. We can break that cycle by working together. The operation was twofold. One is to get people off the street who had existing warrants for uh, domestic violence related crimes, but also to keep this issue at the forefront. This isn't an issue, and I you know, cited you some statistics going back into the 90s, and look how bad they were then. This is a problem, it's a societal problem, that while there's a lot of effort being made and we're making progress, it's still a very, very serious problem for the community, and it will be until uh, something uh, happens to, to try and uh, change this behavior. We're never going to solve it. It's never going to go away, but we need to keep it at the forefront so everybody's aware of it.